All right, so in this video, we're going to be solving the well-known uh, FizzBuzz problem. And this problem is generally used as a litmus test in uh, technical programming interviews. Uh, it's just there to really kind of make sure that you know how to program and there's if you're able to solve it then at least you kind of cross the first very low hurdle and no red flags are raised so it's it's a very straightforward problem and uh, there's actually an interesting blog post here uh, on the coding horror blog which is uh, a blog run by one of the two founders of stack overflow uh, the post why can't programmers program actually goes in uh, and and looks at a number of applicants claiming to be programmers for technical interviews and uh, many of them couldn't solve this FizzBuzz problem. So that's a bit alarming um, and it's definitely worth a read. I recommend you check out the blog as well. And um, yeah, so we'll dive into this problem and hopefully you will not be one of the programmers who cannot solve this problem. Uh, I've, I've actually gotten this problem as well in, in, in an interview uh, a long time ago. Now it's not so common just because it's so well known and it's kind of just um, you know, maybe a bit gimmicky to throw it out uh, in, in a technical interview. But at any rate, if you see it, you should know how to solve it. So here's the problem. Given a positive integer n, print out all the integers from 1 to n. And for multiples of 3, we want to print out the word fizz instead of the number. And for multiples of 5, we want to print out the word buzz instead of the number. And if the number is a multiple of both 3 and 5, we want to print out the... Um, word fizz buzz. So this, uh, solving this problem just kind of makes sure you understand pretty basic constructs in any programming language, uh, things like loops, uh, if else conditions, um, operators like the and operator, the modulus operator, um, things like that. So if you understand those uh, well enough to make use of them, even just you know, very slightly, you you have the tools to solve this problem. This is kind of uh, very early CS 101 type stuff. And if you are stuck or if you don't know how to solve this problem or approach it, uh, that's what this video is for. And everyone's got to see this problem uh, once for the first time. So uh, if you don't know how to solve it, don't worry. Uh, after this video, hopefully you will be in a better position to uh, solve it if you encounter it. So, okay, so what do we have here? We're given a positive integer n. So let's just set n, let's assume that n is 15 because then we'll see uh, kind of fizz buzz and fizz buzz. And so what we're gonna do is we wanna loop through the numbers from one to n and we wanna do kind of the main part of the program is this, uh, is this part here where we're printing out the text if the number is a multiple of three, five, or three and five. So the way that we're going to determine if a number is a multiple of 3 or 5 or anything like that is the modulus operator in Python. Uh, and if you're not familiar with that, let me just pop open a Python terminal here in the shell. Uh, so in Python, the modulus operator is given to us by the percent sign, shift 5. And if we do something like 15 mod 5, this tells us uh, what is the remainder of uh, you know, 5 going into 15. So we know that 5 goes into 15 evenly, there's no remainder, so we get an output of 0. So for instance, if we did 16 mod 5, we would get a remainder of 1, because 5 goes into 16 uh, three times with a remainder of 1. So this uh, modulus operator is going to allow us to determine whether or not a number is a multiple uh, of, of another. So for instance, 15 is a multiple of 5 because there's no uh, there's no remainder in the division. So basically if we can if we can do uh, an operation like this and get an output of 0 that tells us that, that that this number on the left is a multiple of this number here on the right. So we're going to use that as we loop through our uh, our numbers from 1 through n. So let me exit out of this uh, shell here. Let me clear that. And let's loop through the numbers uh, from 1 to, let's say, n plus 1, because this is looping inclusively from 1 to 15. OK, so now what we want to do first is we want to check if the number is a multiple of both 3 and 5. So we're going to make use of that modulus operator to uh, help us to do this. So an if condition. And we're going to say if the number that we're on, i, uh, evenly divide, is evenly divided by 3, so if i mod 3 is equal to 0, 
uh, and, so we want to make sure it's a multiple of 3 and 5, i mod 5 is equal to 0. So if this is the case, what we want to do is we want to print out the word fizz buzz. So we'll just print that out to the screen, fizz buzz. Right, so now what we want to do is we want to take care of the other case here. So if the multiple is just, uh, if the number is just a multiple of 3, we want to print out the word fizz. So else if or elif uh, i mod 3 is equal to 0, we want to print out the word fizz. And the next thing we're going to do is almost exactly the same, uh, but now we're going to check whether or not it's a multiple of 5 and instead print out the word buzz. So else if i mod 5 is equal to 0, we want to print out the word uh, buzz. And then if, if the number is not a multiple of 3 and 5, or it's not a multiple of 3 or 5, what we want to do instead, so else if all of these conditions are not met for the particular number that we're on, we just want to print out the uh, number itself. So we want to print out the integer i. So uh, if we run this now, so if we just save this here, um, and I go over to my terminal window, uh, so I have the fizzbuzz program right there. So if I type in Python fizzbuzz, uh, I get uh, pretty much what we would expect. So 3, the number 3 would have been there, that's divisible, uh, that, that's a multiple of 3, of course. 3 evenly divides 3. We get the number fizz, which is what we expect. Uh, we have 5, which is, of course, a multiple of 5. We get the word buzz. And the first occurrence of the word fizzbuzz is the, is the number 15, which is evenly divisible by both 3 and 5. And so that's the FizzBuzz program. So, um, you know, there's nothing really much to it. Uh, it's good to know how to solve this uh, anytime you enter any technical interview. And if you didn't know how to solve it before, then hopefully now you have a better understanding of the problem.